Hi, how are you? This is Rona Roy Crafty Hands. Rona Roy Crafty Hands. Well, today we're gonna be making some jewelry. It's gonna be uh it's gonna be one piece um of it's gonna be a bracelet and a ring, but it's gonna be one piece rather than two separate pieces. Um I made it with um thin wire uh, that I bought in the 99 cent store. Um, it comes in a pack and it comes in two separate rolls. This is one of the rolls that it comes in. And this is the pack that it comes in. I don't know if you bumped into it. Now this, you could disregard this because this is a copper wire that I had and I put it there. Okay, because I didn't have anywhere else to put it. But what comes in the pack is these, you know, this um, silver thin wire. It comes as you see it, you know, roll, like in a circle, um, and um, you usually have two rolls in one pack. Um, but because the, the wire is so thin, you know, um, unless you buy a thicker wire, you know, uh, in which you don't have to worry about the wire bending, I mean your jewelry bending after you make it, um, then you don't have to worry. But if you use this wire, um, this wire is too, too, too um, thin. So, because I didn't have any other wire, I had to bend the wire in half, right, the wire that I was going to use. And um, I, what I did was that I twisted, okay, I twisted the wire, you know, in a twist, I'm going to show you, before I show you the, uh, the bracelet, that we're going to, uh, the bracelet, the one piece bracelet and ring we're, we're going to be making. Okay, so this is the wire which I um, bend it in half, okay? This is just a sample, okay? I already, twist, I already twisted the wire I'm going to use, okay, for the project we're going to make today. So, um, okay, so I bend it in half and I... twist the wire and twist and twist you know and I try to make sure the twists are very nicely together you know there's no gaps so that it'll come out real nice okay so look okay you twist you twist you twist Okay, and for example, this is how it comes out, you see? See? Now, in actuality, this is the wire, how it comes out. This is how thin it comes out. And it's very bendable, you see? It's very, um, no, it's very thin. So this is the reason why I bend it in half, right? And I twist it so that it could be more tougher, you know? And it don't bend as easily, okay? This is the reason why. Or else I wouldn't because believe me, uh, it's a headache, you know? And when you finish um, twisting the wire, if it's a long wire as we're going to be using, as we need to make this project um you know when you finish um twisting it your your hand hurts Let's put it that way so don't um how do you call don't um blame me if your hand hurts okay 
So if you have problems with arthritis or whatever problems in your joints, don't do it. Okay? All right. Now, or if you don't care, then do it. Like, I don't care about myself, not about you. <laughs> All right? Okay, so, um, like I said, this is the wire. I already measured the wire. I'm going to need in order to make our project. Okay? So, the wire that I... I'm going to be using is going to be to tell you the truth uh, it's 80 80 inches now that sounds very long you know and that sounds as if you need a whole lot of wire and you do you'll be needing a whole lot of wire so it'll be 80 inches in which I bend it in half to twist okay in order to twist it okay so in actuality um for the project we're going to be making today you will be needing well the wire should be 40 inches long but because you're going to be um twisting it you you're gonna the wire has to be longer okay because you remember i told you that you have to bend it in half right so two halves of 40 is what 80 right okay so you're gonna that's why you need you you need um 80 inches of wire because you're gonna uh bend it in half and then you're gonna twist it which i did here see i'm gonna show you where is it oh okay you see See that? See? Okay. So you already um, know what you you need to use, right? Um, your materials, okay? Now, you're going to need, of course, a wire cutter, whichever you, you have, you know? And you, you know, you're going to need a wire cutter that has a little snout, like this one. See, this one has like a beak. I don't know how you call it. I just know this is the one I used, okay? Now, I'm going to show you the, the bracelet and ring, the one-piece bracelet and ring, okay? So, see that? See that? See that? See this one piece? Okay. I know, you know, even though it's, I kind of, it's double, the wire is doubled and it's twisted, it's still thin. And uh, you have, you maybe have difficulty seeing the project. You know, what, what, what we're going to be making. Okay? See? See? I think it looks pretty. If you ask me, you see? See? There's a ring. See? And this is the bracelet part. And it's connected. This is all one piece. Okay? It's not separate. It's all one piece. Okay? So I'm going to remove it so like that you know. I don't want to take too long now. See? 
See, this is how it is. So this is the ring point. Now, if you could put a little bead when you finish here and here if you want to. If not, just ask on the ring part if you want to. If not, then you could just leave it as is. I left mine as is because I think it looks pretty without the bead. Okay? So. See? Look at it. Okay. So, I'm going to pause the camera and then we're going to start our project. Hi, how are you? I'm back. Okay, so we're going to start the project. Okay? So, um, you're going to need two things also. Well, at least, this is how I did it. You could do it the way you want to. Now, I took a bottle that was a cylinder-sized bottle that, that I thought was as thick, you know, um, enough to... Look like how my to look to look how my wrist is. In other words, um, the bottle that I used to me um, was similar to my wrist size because I have a small wrist. You know, I have a tiny wrist. It's very skinny. You see, see. Look at that. I'm bony. Let's put it that way. Anyway, so this here cylinder, this shampoo that I have, a conditioner. So I use this in order to um, shape the um, the bracelet part, okay? And to shape the ring part, because the ring is smaller, it's going to be smaller than, of course, the bracelet. You know, so I use this little stick because this little stick, um, although it's thicker than my, um, uh, how do you call it? than my index finger, right? Uh, it's still, you know, good enough, okay? So anyway, so this is, so we're going to start making the bracelet, okay? Okay, so this is what you're going to do. You're going to put your, um, okay, after you uh, twist your wire, right, and you think, and you use the amount of wire you think you're going to need, right, because everybody's different, you know, so you, you're going to um, put the wire, the tip of the wire, okay, uh, mostly the part that, um, that you bend it in half, see, where is it, see, this is the part that you bend it in half, this is why it has that, that little loop there, okay, so you're going to put it against the bottle, right, or whatever it is you, you're going to use, right, and you're going to hold it with your, and you're going to hold the tip with your thumb from your other hand, okay, and then you're going to um, bend it around the bottle a couple of times. Um, I decided to bend it. To bend mine three times. Okay? So 
this is four times, I guess, right? This is one, right? One. Two, three, and four. So four times, right? I could say. So after it's been the four times, right? What you're gonna do, you're gonna put pressure, right, on the whole thing so that it won't come off for now. Okay? So now you see where let me see, I just okay. You see where the tip of the wire you see the the part of the tip of the wire where you start it, right? Um, bending it, right? This is the tip of the wire. This is the wire part that you start it, bending it around, okay? So you see that? Now, let me see. The other, what you're going to do, Right? Is you're gonna bend um, the rest of the wire, which is this wire here, right? You're gonna bend it. Towards the right. See? Like so. You see that? You're gonna bend it. Towards the right like that. Right? Or better yet, you're, you're going to bend it backwards like that. Yes. You're going to bend it backwards like that. See? It was like this. It was straight. I'm going to do it again. It was straight like that, right? And you have to make sure when you bend it backwards, it's aligned. Um, the top part of the wire is aligned with the part you're gonna bend backwards, which is like this. See that? I'm gonna bend it backwards like that. You see how it's aligned? You see that? It's aligned, you see? See that? It's aligned towards each other. Okay, now, now when you do that, now you can remove it from the bottom. See, because it, it already has its the shape of a snake. Right? And that's the shape you want. And try to fit, if you think that the circles are kind of too big for your wrist, you just fix it. Kind of, you know, you just kind of tighten it up a little bit and fix it. I think that's good enough. You know? And if you think it's too separate, you know, it's too separate apart, then you just fix it so that it won't be that separate apart. Right? And that's it. Now, see that? Now the part that you bend backwards, which is this part here, you see? Right? What you're going to do is you're going to bend it um, over. Over like that, see? Over. And then under over and then under in other words first you're gonna bend it backwards right and then you're gonna bend the wire over right and then under so like that see it's bend it backwards so oh, what i'm gonna do i'm gonna bend it over you see and then if i'm able to I'm gonna bend it backwards. Like that, it won't come out. <sighs> Let me see. Okay. Okay. Okay, so, and now uh, what you're gonna do, because you know, because you're gonna be putting pressure while you do this. And when you do this, it's gonna uh, become out of pressure. It's gonna get out of pressure. It's gonna, get, it's gonna get out of shape, okay? 
So what you this is why you you need the pliers to fix it. Okay, let's see. See? Because you have to make sure this the wire that's um left over, you know, the stem, the wire stem, it's straight. Okay, because this is the part is gonna go over your hand, you see? This is this part here. So you just have to make sure it's straight. Recuérdate, papi, si necesita pasar, pasa, que no me vas a molestar en nada. Ok. You see? You see how, um, what I told you? That it's aligned. The, the, um, both loops from the wire, from the, the beginning, you know? The wire, um, the beginning of the wire that you started, right? Um, shaping the bracelet, and this here loop is aligned. See, it's more or less aligned, it's not perfectly aligned, but it's aligned, you see, with each other. That's what you want. See, okay, now let me remove my bracelet. Okay, so now what you're gonna do is put the bracelet, the part of the bracelet on, okay? Because you have to do, you have to put it, you know, you have to wear it momentarily so that you can um, measure where you need to start making the ring. So, for me, I calculated that this is where I want to begin um, shaping my ring. Right here, you see? See that? See where the little loop is at? See that? See how it is over and under? See? So that it could, you have to bend the, the wire over and under and so that it could be straight, you know? So that this part goes over your hand, like so, see? So, so you measure where you want your, your ring to start. Wait. You measure where you want to begin um, making your ring. So I calculated here, you see, this is why I want my first circle of the ring. Okay, so I'm gonna put my finger there so I won't lose the, um, God. I won't lose the position where I wanted it. To start okay there okay so what you're gonna do again you're gonna bend the wire <sighs> let me see like this you're gonna bend it see okay yes you're going to bend it like that. And you're going to be doing the same thing with the ring part as you did here. Okay? You're going to bend it backwards like that. Like that. Right? No. It's not like that way. See? Huh? How is it? 
Let me see. Oh yeah, it is like that. Okay. So you're gonna bend it. So you're gonna be bending it the opposite side as you bend it on the other, you know, when you finish making the bracelet. Okay. So remember when you finish bend, bending the bracelet in a circle, we bend it backwards and then over and under, right? So to make the ring, to start making the ring, you're gonna bend it like forward. See the stem forward instead of backwards. So you're gonna This time, you, what you're gonna do is, yeah, you're gonna bend it on top. Make sure that the loop is not that big. Okay, like that. Like that, right? And then under. God. Yes. Let me do this. Hmm. It's not coming out. I'm sorry. Let me see. Let me see what I'm doing wrong here. Okay, like this. Okay. Okay, so what we're going to do, okay, after we bend it, We're gonna twist it, a, you know. We're gonna twist a little bit, you know, a couple of turns. Okay, like that. Okay. Okay, I think I did it. I believe. Okay. So now I'm gonna use the this. Okay. Let me see. I'm gonna turn and turn and you're gonna turn. Okay. I think we did it. See, it's not easy what, you know, because it's one piece. But you, you know, you just have to try and work with the wire yourself, okay? Because I myself was having problems, you know? So you just work with the wire and bend the wire so that you can shape the ring part because the when you start working with the bracelet part it's easy but when you have to um 
you know, work with the ring. It's not very easy because remember it's one piece. Okay? So anyway, we already finished. Let me try to fix it in a way so that it'll look better. Okay. I think it's like this. Okay. I think so. See? 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 See this? That's the ring part. This is the bracelet part. Okay, so I'm going to pause the camera and I'll be back. Hi, I'm back. Um, okay, I finished um, the bracelet, the one piece bracelet and ring set. Um, this is the one that we made today. This is the one that I made before that I showed you. Okay. See? See? And this is the one we made today. See, um, the longer the wire is, the more um, loops you go, you know, you can um, make, you know. You know, you could even, if the wire is very long, you know, you could even make the loops to reach up to your, you know, your elbow part here, you know. Or, or your whole arm, if you wanted to, you know, reach. And as well as the ring, you know, um, if the wire is, like I said, long enough, you know, you could make more loops on the finger until you reach up to here. On the first, I believe that on the first um, one piece wire and, I mean, one piece ring, uh, um, bracelet and ring set, I have more loops on my finger, you see? I don't know. Maybe I don't, but I think I do. Then I do on the one we made today. But anyway, see? See? It's the same. okay so anyway so this is our project today okay um the one piece bracelet and ring set okay see i hope you like it i hope you could make it also and i'm sorry that i um had you know a little problem making it with you you know sometimes things happen unfortunately you know but it's finished and we you know we finished the uh, the project you know so this is it i hope you like it okay so anyway till next time this is bruna roy crafty hands bruna roy crafty hands see you bye good night